previously. Our maester, Lester, gained the trait Wiseman. He then proceeded to cut our leg off and kill Rickard in the process. We hate you, Lester. But is he really dead? You see, in this world, there's something called wargs, and wargs engage in warging. And I'm going to abuse warging, because it's what Rickard would want. You see, wargs have the ability to change bodies. And one theory developed by NASA scientists says, right before Rickard died, he warged out of his body into the body of a bird, and then into his own son's body. Leaving his pale, flabby, pasty, old, wrinkled body behind, and becoming Big Ricky. Further supporting this theory is the fact that the first thing Big Ricky did once he became ruler was build bees, and Rickard loved bees. Now this change of body got all of our counselors confused, and we were left with our most leal of servants. We had the beautiful and talented Nixette, our fearless peasant marshal, and Lyle, successor to the stupid Kyle. Noticeably absent is our imbecile maester Lester, who chopped off our leg. Now that we've got two new legs, Let's go find him and teach him a lesson. Come here, Lester. You slippery boy, you. Now let's do a less stupid search. Let's do a... Perfect, Perfect search. search. So we'll go ahead and organize them by their lowest learning. That'll find him. Oh my god, he's gone. Wait, you don't think... When we arrested Lester and put him in house arrest, he could have warged out of... No, no, that's stupid. Wait a second. Yes, I've got it. This was all part of Lester's master plan. He's no maester. He's a faceless man. An assassin. Sent to kill Rickard. Who would have suspected the imbecile maester to be the deadliest killer? So we'll go ahead and pass the most stringent laws in the kingdom to make sure something like this never happens again. And currently we own too much land. So we're going to give some of that land to our honest brother, Nixo. And you all know the saying. They say, keep your friends close and your honest brother closer. Closer. Even closer. Keep going. That close. And speaking of people being close to you with the exact same DNA, we're about to marry a beautiful, uh, wife, person, Nixette. Modest. So this guy's still our ruler. And we're still trying to make her our ruler to someday claim it from her kids. Another way to get a claim on the Westerlands is if the Crystal Pope gives us one, but he hates us. And just like that, our ruler died. So now we got this new guy, him. Oh, but now we can demand a job from him. And we'll choose the one that we're worst at. Look at that. Can't be fired for 25 years. We like that our last pale flabby body got fired like every year. Nixette is pregnant. Oh, apparently Tobit, the guy we gave land to, is engaging in unsavory behavior. We'll tell him to keep quiet. Rickard kind of likes that stuff. And we had a boy. We had a boy without pure blood. I'm off to summer camp. Oh, and Lyle. Lyle died of old age. No. No way. Our new Septon's name is Miles. So first we had Kyle, then Lyle, now Miles. And they all kind of have the same hair, even as Lester. Wait, you don't think? No. God, and even though I'm the ruler, nobody wants to drive my child to summer camp. I'm losing a bunch of money over this. The deed is done. Now our bald sister wants us to name her kid. Her delicate child. And we have a lot of bad traits in this family. I guess it makes sense given who the parents are, but nevertheless, we'll take this dynasty legacy that'll help strengthen our noble blood. Ah, the old duchy we tried to take, but we couldn't kill the right people. I think it's the right time to kill the right people once again. Uh, once again, instant failure. So we'll cancel that. And our spy master, Nick Set, 
is trying to seduce us? That's kind of disgusting. Right up Big Ricky's alley. A revolting peasant marshal died. I'll never forget the times we fought with and against him. All those wonderful letters we exchanged throughout the years. But now he's gone. Another pure bloodless baby. We're actually going to keep her. Oh, Nick said, I don't know how I, how Big Ricky feels about this. Oh, Big Ricky. You dog, you. What? She was our rival? Whatever. Big Ricky doesn't mind. In fact, he likes it. And our brother finally married Tyrion's daughter. Oh, and look at that. Hobbit created a faction against us. I guess we should have blackmailed him. And what's this? We can declare a war on Lady Alisane? Who's that? Oh, she's pretty powerful. But she's got this land that has a mine. The Golden Tooth. Oh, and hey, Tobit died. <laughs> Stupid Tobit. Well, good for us. Oh, and our sister-in-law's already spitting out the babies. Oh, genius baby. Oh, she had a boy. A genius baby. Look at that. They're all water gates. Oh, Nick Set. My songbird is playing with my hair. Nick Set, I think I love you. But she doesn't love Big Ricky. Shorty said, no way. We'll show you, Nick said. We'll just woo our wife, Nick said. Sure, it's not very good odds we'll do it, but we're gonna try. Because Big Ricky, Rickard, they're not quitters. They're heroes. Oh, a reading? Well, she's zealous, so maybe we'll read something pious. <laughs> it was great. You see that, Nick said? You see that? It stings. Shorty said, no way. You are a modest man, Big Ricky. But I do not like you. Oh. Yes. Of course. But hey, at least we made a friend by talking about our sins. Oh, you like murder? I love murder. And we got a poem from this guy. And we told him it sucked. Well, it isn't great literature, but... Uh... And then we impregnated our wife, who literally just rejected us. I think it's time to leave this faction, because we've got our eyes set on bigger prizes. So we'll have whatever deviation of Kyle go ahead and forge a claim on it. And wow, that was quick. Good job, Isle. Soon we will have two minds. All we have to do is defeat her, Lady Alice. So we'll betroth our bald daughter to some guy, just for the Alliance. And we have pretty overwhelming numbers here. But we're not going to war. No, we've got much, much bigger prizes. And we like those prizes more. Since our faction to get Tyrion's daughter, the Westerlands, is failing, we're going to go ahead and try to make friends with the, the Crystal Pope. And to prove that we're holy and cool to be friends with, we'll go on a pilgrimage. Very holy, very, holy, very, holy, very, very, very cool. Very, 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 very. We depart on the holiest of holy adventures to here, the George Washington Monument. Oh, and our old sinful friend wants to come along. Just look at that face. But no, I think he'd be too fun on this. Because what this is, this is all for the sake of appearances, of being a holy, cool guy. And we've arrived to the great obelisk of George Washington, and now we're pilgrims, because pilgrims were in America. But the Crystal Pope still hates us with a burning passion, so we'll sway him, and ah, we've returned home from the George Washington Bridge. Hey, Nick Set, you seem to be in a good mood. What about? Yeah, blood. That's right, we had a little boy. Carlos. I kinda like Carlos. Maybe... 
Rick Carlos. Let's go ahead and get Rick Carlos. <laughs> Betrothed. No, Rhaegar's dead. Who's the new king? Oh, mama. I'd follow that king into battle. Nah, just for the alliance power, we'll betroth you to our niece. And we need a marshal, so we'll marry our lover Nixette to this guy. And now we can steal her lands. Because... Well, because our armies dwarf hers. Get ready, lady. It's time for the war music. Our allies are joining us. Our wife's even fighting for us. No, no wife. It's not the time to be accusing me of infidelity. It's time to fight. Let's get him. We're so close. It's time to battle. It's time for, for beat downs. We've done it, and all in the form of a successful montage. So you know what, lady? Your words don't hurt us. Because now we have your land, and we love it. Also, somehow we became loyal. Loyal? That doesn't sound like us. It doesn't sound like a water gate. Maybe we're loyal to the crime. Oh, we had another daughter. One of them are Nick's Etta. When our brother went and married some other woman. But what a catastrophe. More of a catastrophe is the fact that we're so financially inept that we have to give away some land. So we'll give away the duchy capital to our heir, Rick Carlos. Oh, and I didn't even know Nixette was pregnant again, but we have another daughter. Aha, and finally, Crystal Pope kind of likes us a little bit. But actually, overall, he still hates us. So we'll go ahead and... I don't know. Murder this guy. Because maybe if we put a kid on the throne... I don't know, let's just kill him. And we're also gonna do the unthinkable. We're gonna move our capital out of Watersgate. Oh. Our mother died. At least she left us all these nice death presents. She'd always give me very special presents. Special indeed. But it's more than the presence. It's much more. Nixette taught us how to laugh. That it was okay to cry. She taught us how to love. Oh wait, actually that might be the other Nixette. I don't know, it gets a little confusing. But what isn't confusing is that our two Nixettes are now just down to one. Which is actually really helpful. And I think this is how she would want to go. In fact, I think anyway would be how she wants to go because Nixette loved death that's just kind of her style but still we must say goodbye and now all we have left are memories well and the death presence wait you don't think no nah, no nah. no way but maybe well uh Anyways, 